Hi guys, today we're making a Captain America shield in under 5 minutes. I'll take you through every step so even a beginner can make this shield. Alright, so let's open Blender. Alright, now we're in Blender and as with any model, I found some good references. One from the front, one from the side and one showing the material. And for this model, I will focus on what's outside the shield and not behind the shield. I'm also using an add-on called Node Wrangler to speed up working with nodes. And all you need to do is just enable it here in the add-on settings. Start by adding a circle, make sure there's 30 vertices not 32 this has to be 30 and let's scale it up a little bit and go into edit mode press e to extrude let's scale it all the way down by clicking s and zero now let's add a circle which will be around the star so click ctrl r and add a loop and if you miss the position you can just double click g to slide it into position and let's add two more loops so let's click ctrl r scroll up once and click now we have all the loops we need now select the interfaces delete them and let's add a new circle this one has to be 10 vertices and scale it down so that it just about touches the edges here now make sure this circle is selected and then search for checker deselect. Uh, let's do deselect one and selected one. And if you scale down now, it will turn into a star. Now we need to put a vertice all the way in the middle. This is to make a vertice we can connect to. So select one of the vertices, duplicate it, click shift S and choose selection to cursor. And in case your cursor is not in the middle, click N, go into view and make sure the location is all zero. Now connect edges between these vertices. Do this with all of the five vertices. Then let's fill these with faces. And now the star is still loose, so let's merge it into the rest. Select everything, click M and choose merge by distance. And in case this has removed zero vertices, you just have to remove a zero, try again, until it says remove five vertices. Now let's fill in the gaps. We need to make it into triangles, so fill it in like this. And now let's make the inner star. Select the full star and press I and make it a little bit smaller. And now we have the basic mesh of the shield, but right now it's flat, so let's make it round. Select the middle vertice, turn on proportional editing and choose sphere. Look from the side and move the vertice up in the Z axis. Now we have a basic shield. Make it smooth by selecting it and searching for shade smooth. And here we see an artist Effect. This is because the normals are the wrong way. So select everything and click Shift N to recalculate the normals. Now, if you look at the reference, we see that there are small cavities between the shapes. So let's make this. So for this, select the entire star while in face mode, change to edge mode and select these loops. Now search for split faces by edges, press enter. And this will split the model up into separate parts like this. Now let's add a subdivision modifier and this will cause some weird errors. Let's fix this by going to select all by trait non manifold. Click Ctrl E and choose edge crease and move this all the way up. We see there are still some bugs. This is because we also have to add edge creasing to these edges. So let's do that too. Now it's starting to look better. Let's also add some thickness to the shield by adding a solidifier modifier. And we see that it's smooth. We can fix this by adding a smooth by angle. And let's add the crevices to the shield too. Let's add a bevel modifier. And you have to make sure the smooth by angle modifier is at the bottom. Now let's add materials to the shield. Go into materials, click new. Let's call this chrome and turn on the preview render and since it's black we want some lights to look at the material with click the arrow down and disable scene light and scene world now we can easily preview the material let's make the material into metallic and let's turn down the roughness now if you look at the reference you see the grains going in circles like this let's add this by making a noise texture and we also have to add a texture coordinate node and a gradient texture node. And switch this from linear to spherical. Connect the object into gradient texture and the color into the vector on the noise. And let's preview the noise. And let's turn the scale up to 150. Now let's add this to the material by adding a bump node. Connect the factor into height and the normal into normal. And let's turn the strength all the way down to 0.5. Now let's preview. Now we have those lines going around. But if you look at the reference, you can see that the light is streaking in a specific way. To do this, add a tangent node and connect this to tangent. And turn the anisotropic all the way up. And then connect the noise texture into the anisotropic rotation. And this is not physically accurate, but I think it looked pretty nice. Now let's add the other color. Add a new material slot, choose chrome, duplicate it and change the name to red. And let's add a mix color node and connect the results into base color. Just factor to one and let's choose a nice looking red. And we haven't applied this material yet, so let's do that. Select the face on the circle that have red. Click Control L, red, assign. Let's make the red a little, little bit more dark so it looks like the reference. And before we add the blue, if you look at the edges here, you can see that this is chrome instead of blue. So let's add an edge like this to our model. To do that, add two bevel nodes. One of them should have a radius of zero. The other one can have a radius of 0.02. Add a mix color node and connect both into the color input. The factor should be one and change mix to difference. If you preview this now, we will see that it has defined all the edges. 
And, but we want a black and white value from this. So let's add a separate color, change this to hue saturation lightness, and let's preview the lightness. Now we can connect this into the mix color node. And now we have to switch the position of these two colors. So let's just copy red, paste it, and let's make this gray. And if you look at the edges now, we will have this nice chrome edge. Okay, let's add this last color. Add a new material slot, choose the red color, duplicate it, change the name to blue, and let's change this to a fitting blue color. And let's apply this to the blue part by selecting one face on each. Click Ctrl L, choose blue and assign. And now you have a Captain America shield in five minutes. Download the final model and render setup for free with the link in description. If you like this kind of tutorial, follow me to get notified the next time I post something like this. And if you want me to make a tutorial for something specific, write a comment below.